Welcome to the Diamond Art Show with me, Sam Van Jean. Today, I'm going to show you my latest two finished products. They both come from a UK-based company called Row Diamonds. Their website is rowdiamonds.co.uk. I'm going to put all the information in the description here on this video. One of them was a, a large picture using square-shaped diamonds. And then I had a really teeny tiny mystery picture. Now, these mystery pictures are so much fun. Basically, after you've been doing it for a little while, you want to treat yourself to a mystery picture and you can buy them on all the websites to be fair and you don't know what that picture is though until you've actually finished it so the canvas itself comes in black and white and then you've got all the codes with the different color beads but the codes aren't colored so you won't know what goes where until you start putting them on and then you'll see what the picture is when it's finished I love it so I've got a really cute one I'm going to show you that in a second I'm also going to explain and show how to kit up Kit up basically means getting all the diamonds ready, putting them all in order and getting yourself around you ready to start a brand new picture or your first picture if you're doing this amazing hobby for the first time. So first of all, let me show you this beautiful picture that I got from Row Diamonds. It was 40 by um 70 centimeters and all the diamonds were square shapes i've never been a fan of the square diamonds but now i am because of this picture let me show you so with this picture i was really lucky to have a lot of them with a b drills as you can see the red ones are quite plain and then you've got these ones here that are proper sparkly i had some in yellow as well and i had some in green Look at this beautiful picture. I'm absolutely just in love with her. Even her eyes have got the sparkly ones on them. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so this is called Under the Sea by a designer called Emma Casey, and she can only be found at rowdiamonds.co.uk. So this one is the mystery picture, also from rowdiamonds.co.uk. So I didn't know what it was until I put all of the colours on. And as you can see, it was quite a small one, 20 by 20 centimetres. And look at this coding. It's really cute. The smiley face at the top was the majority of the gems on this picture. And look at those. It's those colours there, the peach ones. They're absolutely stunning. Now, next to it, you can see it's got AB on it. AB actually stands for Aurora Borealis, but it also means Northern Lights. So it's basically the type of diamonds that you get in the kit that have got this kind of shimmer. So you can see a variety of different lights from it as you're going along. Um, they've got a couple of others there as well. TWK stands for the Twinkle Ones, which are some of these ones here. Right, these little white ones. Um, then they've got CR, which means crystal ones, and MET, which means metallic. So these ones here are the black ones with the metallic, and then the little clear ones there are the crystals. And this was my mystery picture. How cute is that? So I had absolutely no idea what it was. The canvas was black and white. Um, as you can see, the codes were black and white until I started putting the diamonds down. These were round ones and he's so cute. I love him. I think it's brilliant. We are now ready to kit up. You've got your picture, which is mine is here, which you'll see shortly. The kit already comes with a pen, wax and a tray. So you're sorted on that. All you need to do now is organise these diamonds. So on the pictures will come with codes like so all right and it comes with two different numbers with this one and then the symbol down the middle so this symbol down the middle is the one that relates to these okay so for example number one is g so hold on let's just have a look here so you have got you is number 24 all right this packet here 24 and then it's also got ih 887 and they've all got IH so that's obviously the symbol number for the company but the 887 that is your DMC number and you can see here on the U there's a completely different number that's not on here all right so if you didn't know which one to look at you'd go for 24. So with this picture, I know that it's all the ones to 24 that will relate to these codes, which for me is much, much easier. And all you need to do is 
take the packet, all right, cut it away from, most of them will come in quite long packets. I've cut these up in fours already. All right, so you've taken this and you've got your organizer. All right, so this one's going in here. And I use a Sharpie. I just find it a lot easier. So which is the one that I've taken? So one on this is G. So I would just write G on it, like so. Quite easy and simple. Right, and then you take it and you cut it and you pour them in. And you need to do this with every single colour. This part of the process I quite like. I like to see what they're all looking like. Now, some people will do them all in order. Well, they'll cut open one, two, three, and four, and keep going as it um, as you go ahead. I don't necessarily like to do that. I like to take it in colours. So I've got another one here that's a similar colour, so it will stay in that theme. And number 20 on here is S for Sam. Lovely. All right. So again, I will then put an S on here. Easy. But I know this one's probably going to need two of them, maybe. Maybe. I love doing this bit. Take your time. Do it slowly. Yeah, it will. So I'll just separate them now. Right, there we go. This is quite good actually. This packet, they're not quite staticky, which is nice. Now, you just do that to all of the others that I've got here. All right, so go ahead and kit up the rest like that. Make sure you check the code down the side, pick which number you're going to do. Mine, as I said, is simple. I'm just going to use the number that's on this side because this number's not there. Well, it is on some of them, but not on others. But anyway, we know that this, this number's the better number. The 17 is easier for me to use. So let me get these all into boxes. And we're done. So all of them in there already. There's not as many as I thought, actually, but this picture has got lots of little sections of colour. So it's going to be quite fun to do. It's why I've, I've picked this one. Um, so let's start. I'm going to start in the top right hand corner. So if you're right handed, it's normally better to start in the top right. If you're left handed, obviously start in the left. Now, you don't have to pour um, a lot onto here at all. So... Just pour a few, okay, just to start. Now, as you can see, I've got something in the middle here. Because this is a, a tray with a spout, sometimes if you move the tray around, the diamonds will come out of there. So you just block the end there quite easily and it stops it from going out, okay. Then you want to give it a shake and a shimmy. Shimmy, 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 side to side, up and down, until you see all the diamonds... Yeah, they all turned over. Yeah, look at that all, apart from that one. Go on. Okay, so they're all lined out, ready. Now, easier for me to work on. Take your wax. There's always a bit of film on the top of this, whether it's square-shaped, heart, long or small, there's always this film here. Then you take the edge of your pen and you do that once or twice. Now, depending, depending on the pen, uh, depending on the wax, you might want to do it a couple of times, especially if it's a new pen, like this one. And you can just see there, just at the edge, there's a little blob of the wax, because I put it in a few times so you can see that it's over. And this is what you use to pick it up, and you can just be really, really light. Now, this picture's got a plastic film. Some people don't like this plastic film. But if you only do a little bit at a time, the film won't be a problem. Take a paperweight and cover that, and then both of your hands are free for you to be able to do what you need to do. If you want to put it back a bit more for this showcase, I will, so it's there. All right. Whoops. Then you can see here at the top, all right, these are the ones that I'm going to do. And then you just lightly press on it and put it in its space. Now, when there's a few colours, I sometimes do it in a checkerboard system so that there's always a gap in between. 
because then you know it ends up staying a bit straighter while you're doing it. And then when you want to fill in the other ones, so you can see on top. Now, sometimes if you've put too much wax in, you'll get these little bits of leftover on the side. Just wipe it off, wipe it off, don't worry about it. If the wax comes up, out, we have to do is just re redo it. Okay, so you can see, fill in the little spaces. And this is how you do diamond art, okay? And so just straighten it out a bit. Sometimes they need a little bit of a, a schmoosh, as I like to call it. All right, you can see there, and eventually they build up on this color. Take your time, you don't have to go quite as quickly as I am if you're just starting. Um, but I do believe if you do that when you miss one out, it ends up being a little bit straighter. This tool, I've got straightens them out a bit as well. Right, but you just have to be gentle. And the good thing is, is you can move them around. So if you stick one down by mistake, it's quite easy to push it away and try and push it off, okay? Where's it gone? Put it back again. All right, and that is how you do it. So all you need to do is find the color that you want and then just pick a little bit at a time. I'm quite lucky, as I said, this picture has got um, quite a few colors going on all at the same time. So I, do, I can just pour a little bit out and I can do a little bit of color each time. So obviously once I've finished these X's, um, once I've run out of the diamonds that are on this tray, then I will move on to another colour rather than looking for the X's. I'll probably do the G's. There's a couple of G's there and they come down here. And then I'll do the W's and the D's. So I'm going to work basically on this triangle section here. And there we go. That corner is nicely finished. Neat and tidy, more or less. Um, if you've got a roller to hand or anything that rolls, then get something like that just to go over what it is that you've done, all right? Just to make sure that all your diamonds are down in one place. I suppose when you first start a picture, you take your time. So, <clears throat> but as you go further along the picture, things, you know, might get a little bit dislodged. Don't worry, use a roller afterwards, a rolling pin, something that's round, wine bottles, um, anything really. It'll go over quite easily like that. Okay, there you see. It's going to look lovely, especially with all the detail that seems to be in this picture. I think it's going to be look really, really nice. Now, if you notice here, <clears throat> you have a line of a sticky film that goes around the entire picture. And that's normally the bit where you cut when you're going to put it into a frame. You can take this bit away. So you cut around there. But as you can see, because I've been wearing a black jumper today, it's got dirty. So I want to make sure that I protect the picture so this doesn't happen again. So each time you're about to start a section, you can put something called washi tape around that sticks onto this film that will protect it. And it looks something like this. Okay, it's a nice little bronze glittery one that I have here. As you can see, I like my bling. Got it on my nails, I've got it everywhere. Um, this is really cheap crafting tape and you can buy this anywhere. Just put washi tape that begins with a W um, into Google and it will come up or just stick it into Amazon and there'll be loads that will come up. So you want to put it across again against that line. So that little bit of stickiness is protected like so. And keep going until I've done this entire side. Some people do it all the way around the picture first. I like to work in sections, so I, I do it as it comes along. That was a nice view of my hand, I apologise. There we go. So it's now all along the picture. So it will now protect it when I start working on these bits. Washi tape can also be used to section the pictures. So um, this isn't, in my opinion, for me, quite a big picture. So um, I started on that corner just to show how easy it was to just use the film and not need to spend so much time putting other paper down. Um, but if I was going to section it, I could say, right, I'm going to do it up to here. 
So find a line of letters, keeping it straight. All right, and then I could section it in the middle of that. Again, like a ruler, make sure it's under a line of letters. Oops, that didn't work. But look how easy it is to cut, to take back off again. All right, it's very easy to section it. So you've just got to make sure you're in a straight line. There we go. So then now I can work on this section and concentrate on that and not go haywire if you wanted to. I don't. I have I suppose it's because I've been doing it a little bit longer now. I don't actually need to section it. I'll, I'll section it off with the diamonds like I've done so. So it depends. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. But here are three different ways that you can section off when you're doing your picture and as you start, okay? So have a go, see how you get on, take your time, don't rush it and have fun. So thank you for joining me on that little lesson about getting yourself started on your first or a new diamond art picture. The pictures that I showed you came from two websites, one from rowdiamonds.co.uk, they're based right here in the UK, and from deerget.com, which are based in China. I've also got discount codes from both of them, which is very nice of them, so thank you very much. You can get 10% and 15% off of these two companies, and if you look in the description on this little video, then it will have the codes on there for you. In the next video, I I'm going to show you how to use multi-placers. Those are those little tools that help you pick up more than one diamond at one time. Think you can handle it? Think you're ready? Well, make sure you join me on the next one.